Welcome to worship. In winter's deepest night, we welcome the light of the Christ child. Isaiah declares that the light of the long-promised king will illuminate the world and bring endless peace and justice. Paul reminds us that the grace of God through Jesus Christ brings salvation to all people. The angels declare that Jesus' birth is good and joyful news for everyone, including lowly shepherds. Filled with the light that shines in our lives, we go forth to share the light of the Christ child with the whole world. We sing joy to the world. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We join now with Christians around the world as we pray. Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence. And the last day, Wake to the brightness of his glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. Amen.
We hear today's gospel story from Luke as told by our Sunday school children. Once there was a woman named Mary and a man named Joseph. Mary was going to have a baby and the baby was God's son. Mary and Joseph traveled by donkey to a town named Bethlehem. While they were there, it was time for the baby to be born. very crowded, and Mary and Joseph had trouble finding somewhere to stay. All the inns were full. They found a place that was safe and warm, but it wasn't a room where people usually stayed. And it was a manger that held food for the cows and other animals. After the baby was born, Mary wrapped him up to keep him warm and placed him in the manger to sleep. Who was that baby?
Nearby, there were shepherds in the fields taking care of their sheep. Suddenly, an angel from God appeared. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With an angelic host proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing. The shepherds were scared. The angel surprised them. They didn't know what to think. But the angel said, don't be afraid. I've come to tell you some good news. The Savior has been born. Don't see him. So the shepherds and their sheep went to find Jesus. They were amazed when they saw him. We told lots of people about baby Jesus. One, two, three, four. 
Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who sends the word with angels, who is made flesh among all peoples, and who breathes peace upon all the earth. Amen. In Christ, we are bold to name our sin and cry out for peace. We take a moment to pause and confess the ways that we have turned away from God. Holy God, we confess our sin to you. We replace compassion with co competition. We seek what is mighty while ignoring the meek. We are quick to anger, but slow to forgive. We have not put on love in harmony with you. Wrap us in the grace of your powerful word. Swaddle our hearts with your peace in all that we do, in word or in deed. May reflect your love born among us. Amen. It is with good news and great joy for all people that we know that God forgives all of our sins and is with us always. Amen. Let us pray. God of unimaginable love, on the first Christmas, you became one of us. We celebrate your love for every person in every place and time. God of all humanity, you offered your peace to anyone who would be satisfied with your presence. We celebrate your peace in your church and accept your commissions to share it in all the world. God of the shepherds, you announced your arrival among us to the poorest, the most humble. 
We celebrate your good news to each of us and to everyone, right here where we are. God of the manger, you came to us through your Son in a small and simple place. We celebrate your presence with us this day in this small place made glorious by your being in it. God of deliverance, you came to be one of us in order to, liver, in, in order to deliver all of us. We celebrate your protection and mercy toward all those who are sick or in trouble. God of birth, when you became as we are, you opened yourself to each of us, no matter who or what we are. We celebrate this day your kingdom and that we are welcome in it right now and always. Keep us close now and in the life to come. God of Christmas, bless us as we once again celebrate your coming into your creation. Amen. We affirm our faith today by using these words from the Iona community. We believe and trust in God who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, and who works in us and others by the power of the Spirit. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect for others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and hope. In life and death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you all. Please share a sign of God's peace with whoever you are worshiping with this day or who is watching with you online or in your home. Thank you for your continued support of the minister here at St. Mark's and Beyond Our Doors. If you are looking for ways to continue to give, you may find a link found on this Facebook page or on the church website. Again, thank you for all of your support over this past year. Let us pray. God of hope, peace, love, and joy, you have given us life, this community, and these gifts of the earth that become the meal of your grace. Move in our hearts that we might use your gifts to bring hope and blessing wherever we go. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The bread and the wine we are about to share join us to the people throughout history and around the world who have come to this meal in search of life. Just as Jesus' birth was for the whole world, this bread and wine is for everyone, for the hungry, the lost, for those who search and for those who are found, for those who question and for those who know peace. This is bread and wine for everyone. And so we pray, holy God, we praise you. Let the heavens be joyful and let the earth be glad. We bless you for creating this whole world, for your promises to your people, and for the life we know in Jesus, your son. Born of Mary, he shares our life. Eating with sinners, he welcomes us. Leading his followers, he guides us. Dying on the cross, he loves us. Risen from the dead, he gives new life. And so we remember on the night before Jesus died, he had supper with his friends. He took bread and thanked you as we have thanked you, God, and broke the bread. He gave it to his friends saying, this is my body given for you. Each time you do this, remember me. After supper, he took the wine, thanked you, God, for it, and passed it to his friends, saying, This cup is the new promise God has made with you in my blood. Each time you do this, remember me. We pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We pray, God of love, that you will send your Holy Spirit upon us and in what we do here, that we and these signs touched by your Spirit may be signs of life and love to each other and all the world. 
Amen. I invite you to share in this meal of grace in your homes with the words, the body of Christ given for you and the blood of Christ shed for you. Come to the table now. The feast is ready. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, mercy on us, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Mercy on us, mercy on us, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace, grant us peace, grant May the body and blood of Jesus Christ strengthen us and keep us forever in his grace. Amen. As we hear the gospel reading from John, I invite you to have a candle ready to light during the singing of Silent Night. A reading from the gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man and sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or, the, or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth, the gospel of our Lord. Thanks be to God. We sing Silent Night.
grace from God's own heart, peace from the child in the manger, and strength from the spirit of life. Be blessings for you today and forever. Amen. Merry Christmas.